Turn now to the latest on yet another escape from a local detention facility just on the heels of the escape and capture of Danilo Cavalcante in Chester County. That's right. This time the escape was out of a facility in Berks County and it involved a big group of young inmates. Last night, nine teens broke out of the Abraxas Academy in Morgantown. Fortunately, all were taken back into custody this morning, but of course this incident raising big questions. The timing too. Yeah, for sure. Action News reporter Corey Davis is live in Morgantown with more on how the juveniles got out and Corey, we all also want to know just how they were captured. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, so they were on the run for about nine to 10 hours in the pouring rain overnight in very uh, thick woods out here in the Morgantown area. We're being told that they committed multiple crimes while they were out as well. And at one point, half of them just eventually gave up and they actually sought help from a random homeowner. The other half were chased by police and people out here who live in these communities are saying that really here they go again with having to deal with this once again in another situation. It kind of not super shocking after last week. It was kind of like, oh, I, I guess this is happening. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm glad it didn't seem like there were any like they weren't armed like last last week. So that was a that was a positive. And families living in this newly constructed neighborhood along Oak Grove Road in Morgantown say they were on high alert just like they were last week after uh, when uh, escaped murderer Danilo Cavalcante was captured roughly 13 miles away from this area. This time, Pennsylvania State Police were after nine boys ages 15 to 17 years old who escaped from the Abraxas Academy Detention Center in Morgantown. We're being told that the boys were temporarily being held there for charges, including robbery, firearm offenses, car thefts, and issues concerning bad behavior. Police say the boys overtook two employees around 8 o'clock last night and stole their keys. The group escaped under the fence of the property which sits at least a mile off of the road into the woods. Police tell us the group reappeared around midnight and tried to steal a car after breaking a window roughly four miles away out there on Estate Drive. The teens were unsuccessful and that homeowner called 911. Investigators had a perim perimeter set up and they say that around 545 this morning, that's when four boys knocked on the door of a random homeowner saying that they were cold and that they basically gave up and were turning themselves in. Uh, roughly 45 minutes later, uh, the other half of the boys, five of them, they stole a truck that had a trailer on the back. Uh, they got away briefly, but investigators, police out there were able to actually chase them about a mile from that home. That home was on Oak Grove Road in, in the newly constructed neighborhood. Uh, the boys were caught there. One of them did run away from the truck into an open field, but police were able to chase him down as well. So it was fairly dramatic. We're told that they were never armed during all of this, even after they attempted to steal a couple of cars as well. Uh, it's unclear exactly uh, it's unclear exactly how they were able to get under that fence around the perimeter. So still some questions. In the meantime, though, we do know the Twin Valley School District remains closed today. Offices also closed. Uh, they were initially announced that they were initially closed uh, when the search was still going on. But now those classes will not reopen today. But now reporting live here in Morgantown, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News.